Hi and welcome to my very first Saturday Night Homebrew review. And for my first review, I'm going to do my very own Dark Hoggett Ale, which was the very first brew that I brewed on YouTube. So, it is a, a black sheep clone. Um, already, I've noticed the the colour is darker. Um, I can just see that through the bottle. It's a darker colour, um, whereas the black sheep should be a little bit uh, golden in colour, um, as you can see from the picture. Um, still. We're going to try and see if we've even got the uh, the taste remotely close. Uh, and I'll go through the recipe. 4 kilo Marisotta, 500 grams black malt, 500 grams crystal 60, 250 grams torrified wheat, 350 grams light DME, uh, 18 grams uh, Challenger, 18 grams, oh, 14 grams Fuggles, 14 grams uh, Goldings, 60 minute boil, and then we've got another 18 grams Fuggles at 30 minute boil, and we fermented that with American Ale, a uh, US05. Um, and I used Beersmith for that. I came up with a dark colour, which I went off from memory. I thought that was the right colour for the beer. Um, but, you know, we live and learn. So maybe next time we'll uh, alter the uh, recipe, um, namely the black malt. <coughs> okay, so let's get that opened into a glass, tell you how it smells and tastes, see if it tastes anything like the uh, black sheep. There we have it, the uh, dark hoggit ale. You see, it's very, very dark, very black. But I don't think I can see through it. You can get through it, but only just about. Okay, so it's very dark. It does, you can see through it, um, but only just, nicely carbonated, not too, uh, not too over the top, okay, okay, let's give it a smell. Okay, straight away you can smell the dark malt begin to think that shouldn't have been in there at all. It's very malty, very chocolatey, almost coffee. Not really getting any hops. It's really up front in the nose with the uh, the dark malt. Very dark, very chocolatey, almost like a, a strong coffee smell. Okay, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, 
Yeah, as the smell suggests, it's um, that black malt, berry up front. Um, thinking next time not to put that in at all. Quite possibly, uh, if I do put any in, it'll be very, um, very little. Um, middle of the tongue, you get the hops. Um, bitterness is there, um, it's very dry um, and the finish, the finish is very clean, it's not lingering about the mouth, it's uh, once it's swallowed you get a little bit of the extra bitterness in the aftertaste and then it's gone. Um, all in all, it's a nice beer. It's a very nice beer. But it's not. It's not a black sheep clone. So, although we get a thumbs up for a good, good beer, it's coming in at five percent alcohol by volume. Um, very nice. Could drink quite a few of these. Um, however, it's a big failure in terms of clone. Um, still, we'll try that one again. Cheers guys, see you next time.